In this video, I'll focus on changing the look of reports. So I'll open a vendor phone list. Go to reports, vendors and payables, and vendor phone list. If you don't like what QuickBooks displays in the header or footer of a report, you can change it. For example, if you don't want people to know you were up until 3.22 in the morning working on the report, you can remove the time the report was prepared. So let's do that now. Click Customize Report. Click Header Footer. And for each of these options, you can remove it by removing the check mark. So I don't want the time to show. I'll click it to remove the check mark. And you can change the title of the report, the subtitle, and so on. And I want to point out that this date prepared isn't actually the date, it's the format of the date. So you could choose one of these date formats. And I like this one. In the Page Layout section, you can choose the alignment of the header and footer. And let's see, let's do Right. And QuickBooks shows you in this little graphic what the header and footer would look with the alignment to the right. Let's see what it would be if you did Left. So that would put your company title and subtitle on the left and the date and time on the right. Let's go with that one. Click OK. And there you see the company name, title, and subtitle are left aligned, and the date is right aligned. If you don't like the boring fonts that QuickBooks uses in the reports, you can change them for different elements in the report. For example, you could choose to display the company name in an extra fancy font. So let's do that now. Click Customize Report, and click Fonts and Numbers. So let's choose Company Name, and change the font for the company name. Let me see, Harrington. And you could change the size. Let's make it 14, and you can change the color. Purple. And click OK. And here, QuickBooks is asking you if you want to change the font for everything on the report, and we don't. We just want the company name in this font, so click No. Now let's change the font that's used for the column labels. Select Column Labels and click Change Font. Let's see. Let's try Century Gothic. And make it a little bigger. And click OK. And again, we just want the column labels to change, so click No. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So let's click OK. So the company name has changed and the column labels have changed. And let's change the font now for the rest of the report. Go back to the Fonts and Numbers tab. And change font. And this one looks like fun. Let's change the size and the color. And click OK. And this time, let's click Yes. And let's take a look what that looks like. So now here, because we clicked Yes, all the elements on the report are in the same font, except for the company name and the column labels. Looks like I kind of made a hot mess here. So not to despair, let's go back to Customize Report, go to Fonts and Numbers, and click Revert. And when we click OK, it'll go back to its boring self. OK, let's talk about those numbers. Fonts and numbers. And here, you can select how you want negative numbers to show up in the report. And as you click an option, QuickBooks shows you what it would look like over here. And you can also set how you want all numbers to display. Divided by 1,000 is useful if you're lucky enough to have numbers with seven or eight digits. And without sense, removes the decimal point and cents in figures and QuickBooks rounds the cents to the nearest dollar. But for this report, which just has phone numbers, none of these options are really relevant. So let's click OK. And one more thing I want to show you is how you can rearrange the columns. And you can only rearrange columns on detail reports and list reports. So you can't rearrange them on summary reports. So just hover your mouse over the column and it 
changes to a hand. And if you click your mouse, you can grab the column and drag it until you see the red arrow is where you want it to go. So release, and the column is moved. 